What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and we have some huge news for Last Epoch that tons of players have been waiting for, and that is the new Rogue class is coming on December 4th. Now, this is probably the last massive piece of the puzzle for Last Epoch, and we've seen her teased off a little bit and shown off in some artwork, but never really had any gameplay. Now, the Rogue is going to be coming with her Blade Dancer and Marksman specs, so no Falconer for now, which is kind of sags. that was one I was most looking forward to, but that should be coming somewhat soon in Phase 4, but Last Epoch plans to show her off before she goes live, which I'm really excited for. Now the nice thing here is that having her added to the game is also bringing some other big features that players have been asking for, such as dual wielding and new weapon types. Now dual wielding has been something that I've seen brought up on almost every single one of my last Epoch videos that I publish. Every single one, there's at least one comment of, is dual wielding there yet? People really want to be able to go like full berserker with a primalist, or they want to go like a warlord style gameplay with the sentinel, and I get it. I want to be able to do that too, and now we can because dual wielding is coming on December 4th with the rogue. Thank God. So there are some things about how it will work that we need to know and we need to understand. So each class is going to have different dual wielding rules and weapon preferences, and they're doing this to help reinforce and preserve class identity. So here's what each class will be able to wield. So they told us Primalist is going to be able to use an axe or a sword in their offhand. A rogue can use either a sword or a dagger in their offhand. Sentinels and Spellblades, Spellblades, can use swords in their offhands. And Acolytes cannot dual wield. So the biggest surprise here, obviously, is that Acolytes can't dual wield. This doesn't make a ton of sense to me personally. I really feel like having like a crazed Acolyte dual wielding daggers would kind of fit the fantasy. She seems like she's a little unstable. But, I mean, maybe that's not the fantasy that they're envisioning. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm really bummed out because I would really love to do that. So other than the Acolyte, the other classes make sense, right? I mean, having a double-axed Primalist fits, since we already see that on the character screen. Same for, like, the Sentinels and the Spellblades. But like I said earlier, notice it's only the Spellblade. So I'm assuming that Mastery comes with the ability to dual wield, and if you take any other spec, you lose that skill. I'm not entirely sure. Still kind of juries out on that. And another thing they mention is that when you take a dual wield passive node, which makes me think this might be something we have to invest a point into to gain the ability to dual wield, you'll have a defensive trade-off in order to deal more damage. And this isn't only through like flat numbers, right? Like dual wielding gives you higher DPS versus two-hander, which is slower DPS, but not necessarily that, but they really want to have dual wielding increase build potential and flexibility versus having a two-hander. So they don't want to have like a punishment for either way, right? If you want to go for a two-hander style build and you're really looking for that, you can do just as much damage as a dual wielding build, but the dual wielding might have just a little bit more creativity because you're able to wield different uniques, you're able to kind of have different combinations of weapons. So there is a little bit of math there, and there's also a little bit of I'll say like safeguards to make sure that everything is okay and kind of checks out. With all that being said, there are a ton of questions here and we're gonna have to wait and see how it all kind of shakes out. I'm thinking of lots of potentially overpowered builds with the uniques that we have access to. Time's gonna tell, but either way, I'm really glad we're getting it. This is something that I've really been missing in the game and I think is going to take this game to the next level. So the next thing we have to look at are some new weapon types, bows, quivers, and daggers. We don't know a ton about these right now, but we do have some artwork. So these are a big topic and lots of people have really been asking about it almost as much as dual wielding. And I mean, one of my Discord mods, Wolf, I mean, he even said, I'm not going to try the game until I can be a primalist and I can use a bow and I can have this whole kind of like huntsman type fantasy. So hopefully he'll be able to get in there with these new weapons. Now we did get to see some artwork of these base archetypes for each bow and quiver and I'm guessing there's a unique in here for how detailed some of these look. Otherwise they look super badass. I'm really excited to get in there and actually start using them. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have daggers, right? Built for close combat. And we don't know much about any of these. We have a couple gifts here, but Honestly, I'm really hoping we see a few examples before launch so we can get an understanding of how these work, what affixes we can expect, because right now we're really, we don't know, we're in the dark. We just know bows, quivers, and daggers are coming and everybody's excited for it and it's going to bring a whole new kind of world of build possibilities. So anyway, lots of big changes coming to last epoch, but that's honestly what I've come to expect from this game. Each patch is bigger than the last and they keep topping themselves and raising that bar. So overall guys, what do you think? 
I know the new rogue class is coming on December 4th, along with dual wielding and new weapon types. We don't have a ton of information right now, so I'm curious to hear what you guys think and whether or not, are you going to play the rogue? Are you looking forward to the Blade Dancer or Marksman spec? Or are you kind of like me and you're like, oh, man, the Falconer, I really wanted to play that, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer. So anyway, as always, this has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you guys next time.